Texas, um, all the news media, all the people, friends and family, and people that we don't know that have um, reached out and, and you know, uh, donations, if it's donations or if it's just prayers and, and all of that, every bit of it has been very encouraging and helpful. and. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to have the opportunity to come on and tell everybody thank you for that. Um, how did you find out about the discovery of the scam right. Thursday? I was at work. Um, I actually would have found out, you know, either on the news or from my phone, but I didn't have it with me because I was at work, so I, I put it up. So um, I was brought back to the back of my job thinking I might trouble. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. My manager came and got me and she brought me to the back and then of course I saw the detective and uh, two detectives and the chaplain so of course I knew that they had found her. What? Assumed but uh, knew. Yeah. What were you thinking at that time when they told you? I thought they found her car. I thought they found her um, and I could just tell by the look on his face that it wasn't going to be good news you know just the somber um, but um, it was just validation verification I guess and knowing that it's that it was over looking for her was hard you know it was it was you think that it's going to be closure you think that it's going to be a good thing to finally find out because that's what your goal is to find her you know and that's what you've been working for for so long and, and striving for and um, begging for and praying for and um, when you finally get that it's, it's not closure it's not um, it's numbing it's you know just like the loss of words it's it's numbing you really don't know what it is you don't know how you feel you, you're just there and um, you're, you're glad that you're not looking anymore or that, that you finally found her and that you're gonna be able, you know, it's kind of like we brought her home you know we we didn't <laughs> you know we were very lucky prayers brought her home because I, I believe that it was a, a act of God that she was found in the first place. Because I don't, I don't know that she ever really would have been, based on, uh, not based on tips, you know, not based on anybody letting us know. Um, it was just a, a very lucky thing that we found her, and uh, all I wanted was to have her out of the water, and and I'm I'm okay now. You know, everybody's talking about justice and justice will be served and you know whether it's by man or by God but I I care but it, that's not my goal in, at all I, I just wanted her home and, and that's what we have now now we just have to look forward to doing what's best for Daniela in the future you know what following her wishes what she would have wanted um, what's best for Cora which goes along with that um, so we still have things that we need to do for Daniela but, um, but our job is done as far as looking for her.